Good morning everyone! Welcome to Valenzuela Live! I am John Kenneth Oribiana from Doña Ata Elementary School, your live streaming teacher for today. We are now on the third week of the second quarter. For today's objective, based from the most essential learning competency, you should be able to solve real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of given numbers. As we begin our discussion, may I remind you to prepare your module, pen and paper, and comment your complete name, school, grade and section on the comment section below. To see if you can still remember your past lessons, let's have an activity about GCF and LCM. This activity is entitled, What Number Am I? Guess the number being described by the given clues, you are only given 10 seconds to answer each problem. I am the least common multiple of 6 and 12. What number am I? Very good. The answer is 12. Next. I am the greatest common factor of 27 and 36. What number am I? That's right. The answer is 9. Next. I am the greatest common factor of 15 and 21. What number am I? Excellent. The answer is 3. Next. I am the least common multiple of 4 and 7. What number am I? Very good. The answer is 28. And for the last number, I am the least common multiple of 8 and 9. What number am I? Very good. The answer is 72. Great job, students! Let us begin our lesson with this problem. Paolo has a bag of 32 candies and Mardin has a bag of 24 biscuits. They have to divide up the candies and biscuits into small plastic bags with equal number of candies and biscuits. Each plastic bag containing either biscuits or candies only. If there's no remainder, find the largest possible number of candies or biscuits in each plastic bag. To solve the problem, let us revisit the different steps in solving word problems. The first step is to understand. Next is to plan. The third one is to solve. And last is to look back. To understand the problem, first, we need to identify what being asked. And the answer is, largest possible number of candies or biscuits in each bag. Next, what are the given? The given are 32 candies and 24 biscuits. And the third one is the word clue. What do you think is the word clue in our problem? Okay, that's right. The largest possible number. 
Next step is to plan. In this step, we have to choose a process to solve the problem, which is what? Okay, finding the GCF because of the word clue, largest number. Next to plan is to solve. Okay, we can write the numbers in horizontal line like this. Determine a common prime factor that will divide both 32 and 24. And the prime factor is very good, 2. Write the common factor on the left side of 32 and 24, then divide. Write the quotient below the, write the, quotient below the numbers. And then repeat the process. Okay, let us divide first 32 divided by 2. The answer is 16, while 24 divided by 2, the answer is 12. Since 6 and 12 has common factor, which is 2, let us divide 16 and 12 by 2. 16 divided by 12 is 8, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 and 8 has also a common factor, which is 2 again. So let us divide 8 by 2, which is 4, and then 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Since 4 and 3 have already no common prime factor, we can now multiply all the common prime factors of 32 and 24, which are 2 times 2 times 2. And the product is 8, or 8 biscuits, or 8 candies. Therefore, Paolo and Marlene can put 8 biscuits, or 8 candies, in their small plastic bags. And last step is to look back. To check, let us list down all the factors of 24 and 32. For 24, we have 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. While in 32, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. As you can see, 8 is the GCF. Or 8 candies or 8 biscuits. Therefore, Paolo and Marlene can put 8 biscuits or 8 candies in their small plastic bags. Problem number 2. Nina and MJ are shelving books at their library. Nina shelves 5 books at a time, whereas MJ shelves 10 books at a time. If they end up shelving the same number of books, what is the smallest number of books each could have shelf? Again, to understand the problem, first we need to identify what is being asked in the problem. And the smallest number of books each could have shelf, followed by the given, which are Nina shelves five books at a time and MJ shelves 10 books at a time. Well, the word clue in our problem is the smallest number. Next to it is to plan. In this step, we have to choose a process to solve the problem, to solve the problem, and it is finding the LCM. The third step is to solve. Using continuous division. Write the number in the horizontal line like this. Determine a common prime factor that will divide both 5 and 10. And the prime factor of 5 and 10 is 5. Write the common factor to the left side of 5 and 10. Then divide. 5 divided by 5, the answer is 1. Then 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. Since 1 and 2 have already no common prime factors, we can now multiply all the common prime factors and the remaining dividend. 
like this. 5 times 1 times 2, the answer is 10. 10 books, or we can say Nina and MJ ended up shelving 10 books. For the last step, which is look back, let us check. List all the multiples of 5 and 10. For 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. While for 10, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. As you can see, 10 is the LCM of 5 and 10, or 10 books. Therefore, Mina and MJ ended up shelving 10 books. Now, it's time for our activity. Let's see if you have already learned on how to solve real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of two given numbers. For us to know your answers in our activity, please feel free to type in your answer, your, your answer in our comment box below. You have 60 seconds or 1 minute to solve this problem. So your time starts now. Times up. Okay, let us check if we have the same answers. First, understand the problem by identifying what is being asked in the problem. Okay, and it is the greatest length in inches of the ribbon that Marielle can make. Next are the given 18 inches of pink ribbon and 24 inches of blue ribbon. And the word clue is greatest length. Next step is to plan. Okay, in this step, we have to choose a process to solve the problem, which is finding the GCF because of the word greatest. Next step is to solve. Using continuous division, write the number in horizontal line like this. Determine a common prime factor that will divide both 18 and 24. The prime factor of 18 and 24 is 3. Divide 18 by 3, the answer is 6. 24 divided by 3, the answer is 8. 6 and 8 has a common prime factor, which is 2. So we have to divide 6 by 2, which is 3, 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Since 3 and 4 have no common prime factor, we can now multiply all the common prime factors, which are 3 and 2. And the product is 6 inches. Therefore, Marielle can cut her pink and blue ribbon into 6 inches length. To check, list all the factors of 18 and 24. For 18, we have 
1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. While in 24, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. As you can see, 6 is the GCF or 6 inches. Therefore, Marielle can cut her pink and blue ribbon into 6 inches length. Did you get the same answer? Very good. Very good, students. Now, let us have the second problem. Julianne bought the same number of kilograms of cat food and dog food last month. Even though the cat food comes in 4 kilogram packages, while the dog food is sold in 10 kilograms of packages. What is the least number of kilograms of each she had bought? So you have one minute to answer this problem. Time's up. Let us check if we have the same answers. First is to understand by getting what is asked. And it is the least number of kilograms of cat food and dog food Julianne had bought. Followed by the given, which are 4 kilogram packages of cat food and 10 kilograms packages for dog food. And the word clue in our problem is the least number. Next step is to plan. In this step, we have to choose a process to solve the problem, which is finding the LCM because of the word least number. Next is to solve. Using again continuous division. Write the number in the horizontal line like this, determine a common prime factor and the common prime factor of 4, 4 and 10 is 2. Let us divide 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2, while 10 divided by 2, the answer is 5. And since 2 and 5 has no common factor, let us now multiply the common factor and the remaining dividend, which are 2 times 2 times 5, and the answer is 20 kilograms. Therefore, Julianne bought 20 kilograms of dog food and 20 kilograms of cat food. To check, list down all the multiples of 4 and 10. For 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on, while for 10, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. As you can see, 20 is the LCM, or 20 kilograms. Therefore, Julianne bought 20 kilograms of dog food and 20 kilograms of cat food. Great job, students! Now, let us summarize what we have learned today. To solve word problem, the first step is to understand. Under understand, we have what is asked, what are given, and the word clue. Second step is to plan. Third step is to solve. And for the fourth step, we have look back or 
checking. If you don't have any questions, this is your activity at home. Checking of the activity will be done by your discussion teacher. This ends our discussion for graders. I hope you learned a lot today by discussing solving real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of given numbers. I am so glad and thankful for your active participation. Again, I am your math Facebook Live teacher, John Kenneth D. Arribiana, saying, Mathematics gives us hope and every problem has a solution. See you again next time. Goodbye, guys.